I'm Anil Kumar. Here is an example of conditional probability. The question is, three fair coins are tossed. So we are expecting that type of a result. Find the probability that they are all tails if the first coin is a tail, right? So we want to find probability that they are all tails, right? Three are tossed. And here we are given a condition and it says, find the probability that they are all tails if the first coin is a tail. So in our first case, we are given a condition that the first coin is a tail. So we are given this one is a tail. Now find the probability of getting two more tails. So that is how the question is. The second part of this question is, three fair coins are tossed. Find the probability that they are all tails if one of the coin is tail, right? So any one of them, not just the first one, any one of them could be tail, right? So, so you could have these positions. Think like this. It could be tail here or here or here. So any one of them could be tail. So that is how these two options are slightly different. You can now pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now the favorable chances are only one that all are tails, right? So, so what we have here is that the if the event A is getting three tails, in that case uh, there is only one way we can get it, right? So, so number of favorable chances is just one. Now what is the probability of getting a tail whenever you toss? It is half, correct? This is already tail, so we are looking into second and third, and here also the probability is half, and therefore we know that the probability of tossing a tail for this particular event is half times half, which is one over four, correct? So that is how we can actually get our answer directly, right? Now in the second case, we have a condition that any one of them could be tail, not necessarily the first, first one. Okay, so in this particular case, what are the total number of options in our sample space? Since there are three coins to be tossed, it will be 2 to the power of 3. But since one of them is a tail, then that means that the option, which is like all heads, should be excluded, right? Therefore, we have total number of options in our sample space as 2 to the power of 3 minus 1. And getting all three tails is possible only once. And therefore, the probability in this condition, let me call this as B, is equals to 1 over 2 to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 1 over 8 minus 1 or 1 over 7, right? So, so the probability here is 1 over 7 and the first case is 1 over 4, right? So that is how they are slightly different and I hope you understand the concept. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos to learn. Thank you and all the best.